Woo! I don't want to die. Oh, okay, he's excited. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna get him. Boom! What's up, guys? The tech spot here. And as I could probably tell, I am super excited today because we finally have a Nintendo GameCube and Nintendo Wii emulator for iOS, your iPhone, your iPad, and iPod Touch. You could now play Nintendo Wii games and GameCube games on this device. So basically any jailbroken iOS device. So this is super, super cool. Big news. So it's so cool in that you don't need an Android device anymore to be able to emulate Nintendo games on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So that is super cool. Dolphin was only on Android before, but now it has unofficially been ported over to iOS by some developers. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way to download games and get the Dolphin emulator working on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Again, you will need a jailbreak, so I have a jailbreak right here. But I think there is a way to do it without a jailbreak. I'm gonna go and test it out after this video. And if it's working, I'll make a video on it. Anyways, guys, this is insane. You can play Super Smash Bros, Super Mario, Wii U, Luigi's Mansion, and so many other popular titles on your iOS device now. It's crazy. So with that said, let's get started. Now, before I start, I would like to thank Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's episode. Raid is an ambitious PvE and PvP turn-based MMORPG. You battle with your own champions, each with different skill sets. There is a multi-battle auto mode, which makes the experience even more enticing to play out, helping you level up even quicker. There are dungeons, boss fights, and with over 400 plus different champions to choose from, and a roadmap that shows who Huge plans and updates coming, you will never run out of fun. There are also weekly tournaments and events. It has also earned the medal for being the user's choice nominee. If you use a link down below in the description, you can get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion. So what are you waiting for? Try Raid Shadow Legends now. It is free to download. All right, so that was a sponsor, but anyways, great game. And again, I will be showing you guys the easiest way to do this. No need to move around config files or anything like that. It's the easiest way. It's super simple and it even works on iOS 13. Again, all you need is a jailbroken device. So there is Cydia. What you want to do is go to tap on it to open it up and just make sure Cydia is working so your jailbreak is running. All right, so once that checks out, you want to open up Safari and click on the link that will be down below in the description. It'll be to a repo. And anyways, guys, make sure it opens up that Safari app, not YouTube. And there it is. We're going to tap on add to Cydia. Once you tap on that button, simply hit open and it'll automatically going to add the source to Cydia for you. So you don't have to type it in manually. So tap on install source. And just like that, we are adding the source. Once done, simply hit return to Cydia. And now we have the source installed. So anyways, I'm going to go tap on the bottom left tab over here to go back. And now let's go tap on sources. And here we have the repo right there. So we're just going to go and tap on that repo that we just added Tap on all packages and there is Dolphin iOS. Now this one right here is for both GameCube and Wii all in one. So all you gotta do is go and tap on this one file, hit modify and hit install and hit confirm. Now this is 63 megabytes, so it's gonna be fairly quick, not too long. And all right, so once it's done, you wanna hit return to Cydia again. If you do get any errors, I did experience those errors before, you are fine as long as when you go going to swipe up. Yeah, I can see now I have my Dolphin emulator right there. Anyways, we can go back to Cydia. We do need one more thing. And so we can go to search over here. And in the search, we can go and type in Filesa. Now that's what we're gonna be using to basically extract it. Download the one with the blue icon right there. Let's go and tap on it, hit install. And again, this is completely free as well. Just like that, it is reloading data. Tap on return to Cydia and we are good to go. We do not need Cydia anymore. So we got Dolphin emulator and now the files application. All right, so just to test the waters, I'm gonna go and open up Dolphin emulator and it works right there. You guys can see I already have two games installed, actually one game, it's melee and it works super well. So anyways, I'm gonna install another game here to show you guys how it works. but there's files, uh, that's what that looks like. All right, but anyways, what we're gonna do is exit out of there and open up our internet browser, and we're gonna be downloading games now. So we're already to that step, it's super simple. Anyways, I'm gonna go over to Google. All right, so here we are, and in the search, I'm gonna go and type in Zelda Wind Waker GameCube ROM. Now you're gonna search for any game that you want. So for me example, it was Zelda Wind Waker. If you want Mario, you're gonna type in Mario, and then type in the platform. So if it's on GameCube, type in GameCube. If it's on Wii, type in Wii, and then type in ROM after that. So once you have that in, I'm not going to be putting any links in the description because YouTube doesn't like that. So let's go ahead and search for it. It's really easy. And again, there are so many websites to download from. My favorite is ROMs Mania. So whenever that comes up, I like to download from there. So here's ROMs Mania.
Mania. You guys can see the title cover and everything like that. And we're also going to be down with Wii games here in a second, but let's do GameCube first. So I'm going to hit download right here. And it says your ROM is downloading. Let's go ahead and wait. Just like that, you guys can see iOS 13 does have a built-in downloader for Safari. So it's going to tap on download. And you guys will see it downloading on the top right over here. There it is. Now, my Wi-Fi is fairly quick, so it does download pretty fast. And all right, so once it's done, it should look like this. Simply go ahead and tap on the file. And you can see there it is. So what we're going to do is tap on the share button on the top right. And we're going to go ahead and open it up in files. Us. So I'm going to go and swipe over and copy to files. Us. There it is. So I'm going to go and tap on the option. It might take a little bit of time to load. And just like that, here it is. So Zelda, we got a zipped file. and looks like I tapped on it twice. So it appears twice. Go ahead and delete this one. We only need one. All right. So that's how you delete them. Anyways, it's going to tap right here because it is a zip file. So we need a .iso for GameCube games and a .wbfs for Wii games. So that's the format that you want just to make sure that you have the right file. Now, this part may take some time because it is extracting a 1.13 gigabyte file. So it's not frozen. Just be patient right here and just wait. All right. And just like that, it is done. You guys can see it's not buffering anymore. We got this folder right here titled Legend of Zelda or the game that you downloaded. It's going to tap on into that folder and right there is a game file that we want so simply tap on the i icon right there so once tap on i tap on the share button on the top right and it'll bring up this menu simply go to tap on files and once you are in files you could save it wherever you want you could even save it on the icloud drive but i'm going to personally to save it on my iphone so here we are i'm just going to select on my iphone and i'm going to click on save once that is done i'm going to hit done on the top left it is now there you can see that let me go ahead and x out of there open up dolphin emulator let's go and tap on the plus icon like i said i kind of tested it out right there but it works but you want to go to where you saved the game so for me i saved it on my iphone if you saved it in the drive go over there but i saved it on my phone so i'm gonna go over here and there is the iso make sure it's the full file size it's probably over a gig so there it is make sure it's a full file otherwise it will not work let's go and tap on it and just like that it added it right there so it's going to tap on the game now and it just works. So look at this, guys. It just works. It's crazy how just optimized this is. So again, I am playing on the iPhone 10 over here. You can even put it in landscape mode just by turning your phone. All the controls and everything works. It's surprisingly very, very stable on the iPhone 10. I mean, the iPhone 10 is actually pretty powerful. So we're going to hit OK. And this is my childhood game, guys. I remember playing this on the GameCube. All the time, I beat it like three, four times. It's an amazing game. I love this game. All right, so let's go and show you guys a little bit of gameplay. Oh, crap. I just realized I had to go through the story right here, so that's probably not a good idea. Do, 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 do. I cannot skip this. That's dope. One eternity later. Oh, 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 boom. Oh, God. I could do this on my iPhone now. <laughs> okay, I think you could change the screen size and the settings, maybe. But I'm just happy that I could even play this. Maybe on a faster device, maybe it would, like, make the screen bigger. But it's kind of optimizing it for the device so it could actually be playable. Wake up, Link. You dozer. That does not look comfortable sleeping on, like, just wood. I never realized that, but come to think about it now. <laughs> oh, okay. Pretty dope place to sleep, though. All right, he's, uh, oh, okay, he's excited. Look at that. That's how I feel about the simulator. All right, now I can move. So, I can see, uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to play on mobile, but I'm going to get used to it. I'm just not used to it. I'm just going to jump down. Ah, that kind of hurt. All right, here we go. Let's go and swim there. All right, so, I can see everything does work. It's pretty dope that I'm playing this on iOS now. So, yeah, everything, boom, boom, boom. All right, but anyways, we're going to exit on out of here. And let's go to download Wii games now. So again, this is really, really simple. Let's go back over here. And now I'm going to search for a new Super Mario Bros. Wii ROM. So you guys can see that. And all you got to do is now tap on search. And again, I would recommend ROMs Mania, but you can download it from anywhere that you want. And let's go and tap right here. Again, make sure you own the game if you do download it digitally so you can have it legally. And let's go and scroll down. You can see I see a cover and everything. Let's go and hit download again. Same process as always. It's going to wait. And just like that, we're going to click on download. 
And let's go into top right here. Wow, this file size is actually smaller than Zelda. Zelda on the GameCube is a bigger file size. I mean, it doesn't really take up that much data. So thank God for this recent Wi-Fi that we just got. It's so much better. I mean, it's decent. It's not the best, but anyways, let's go tap right here. Let's go tap on share again. And again, we're going to simply go swipe over, copy to files. Uh, and just like that, we have the zip file. Let's go ahead and tap on it to unzip it. And there it is. This one was a lot quicker. Anyways, we're going to tap on this folder. There is the .wbfs, which again is the format for Wii games. Anyways, we can tap on the I right there. Tap on share, copy to uh, files. So once in files, again, we can put it anywhere I want. So I'm going to put it on my phone, on my iPhone. So I'm going to hit save. Just like that, it is there. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to exit out of here, open up Dolphin Emulator. It's going to add the game to it. And again, you want to go to that same spot. So I'm on my iPhone. You're just going to pull down to refresh. It does not show up, but there it is. New Super Mario Bros. It's going to tap on it. Just shows up like that. Wii. And here we go. So again, you got the Wii controls now. Could tilt like this. And now we got the updated resolution for the Wii. Okay. Here we go. Just playing New Super Mario Bros. on my phone. Wow. <laughs> Who thought this time would ever come? So I'm so happy. Again, it's not an official port, but it works. And just like that, we are playing New Super Mario Bros. on an iPhone 10. How cool is that? I could even get this on an iPad. Now, I'm also pretty sure that controllers are supported on this emulator, but I'm not going to be including that in this video, so I don't want to make this video too long. But if you guys would like a follow-up video, let me know down below in the comments, and I'll be sure to follow along. So, here we go. Yeah. This is dope. All right, let's go ahead and start the first level. I think I'm gonna use a D-pad right here. I think two's run. Is two to run? Hold on. No, one. A. Okay, uh, all right, screw I'm just running right now. I'm just gonna play for you guys. I don't wanna die. It's kind of hard to play on camera, but yeah, I can see, and it's pretty dope. I'm playing with my phone. I wish there was like functionality where you could shake your phone to use the flying hat. That'd be dope. But I mean, as of right now, this is really cool. It's gonna slide. Boop. All right, cool. It's gonna need this. Haha, <laughs> dope. <laughs> this is awesome. It's really cool. All right now, I do want to cover this for you guys because it did happen with me, but I just tried downloading Super Mario Kart Wii. And when I open it up in files, uh, you guys can see there is a file right there. It's not normal, so I can't just tap on it and it will extract. So what I have to do is actually going to tap on edit on the top right and then tap on that file right there and then select rename. So tap on rename. All right, so I'm going to move my cursor all the way to the end. And I can see it has dot zero zero one. So you want to remove that. So the end only has dot seven Z and once that is done hit done and now we are good to go Now I'm going to tap on it and proceed with the rest of the steps Just wanted to let you guys not know about that if you do encounter the same issues But yeah, that's how to fix it. All right, so that is basically it But now let me show you guys some more games running on this. So here's Mario Kart that I just downloaded I'm gonna do Wario. Oh boy. I'm so excited. So here we go now, this game looks like it's having a little bit of hiccups uh, trying to play it, but it should still run perfectly fine. So here we go. All right, so the game is to go. Okay, there we go. Mario Kart is working. Look at that. All right, let's get us a power up over here. All right, got we got just got hits. Okay, here we go. What was the? Ah, oh, there it is. Boom, boom, boom. All right, this is dope. And also, why not Super Smash Bros. Melee on the GameCube? I already had it downloaded, so let me show you guys that playing real quick. All right, let me choose my characters real quick. Let's go as Link. All right, so this is the actual Super Smash Bros., which is dope. Uh, I'm going to do this level right here because I am uh, choosing a random character to fight against, and it turns out to be Link as well. So, bam. All right, here you go. Up B. All right, this is the most annoying move. Down A. <laughs> And it looks like you can still roll around too, so look at that. You got your shield. It's actually very, very playable. Like, I'm gonna take a bomb out. Uh, there it is. Boom. Ah, okay, I kind of lit myself on fire too. Ah, there we go. I'm gonna get him. Boom. All right, so there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to smash that like button and also be sure to hit that subscribe button for tons more content. I've got so much more planned. You don't wanna miss out. This is the tech spot, and I'll catch you guys real soon in my next video. Deuces.